Right, we've come to a different pond to do it. Public footpaths. It's not, you know, there's always something on this pond, isn't it? It's a big pond, uh huh. There's always the ducks and geese and swans. A lot of small birds as well. You've got all this, like, reeds around it now. But this is where we should come for the. Not the reed wobblers, you get the sedge wobblers and all. Alright. It's just when that, it's too much of a, there's a main road right next to it, and too much of a public place. You know, and where they kind of like to get in there. <laughs> Wait, I like to get in there to find the nest. <clears throat> you can't really do that when there's people around. There's a lot of people come to feed the ducks. They'll be on the other side of the pond where the road is. We're coming around the back. Just to avoid them. I can hear the voices over there now. When we drove along, we've seen quite a few people. Zoom in, can you hear you? You get the camera on the stand and get it all spinning. Aye. When we're right next to the edge of the water, I do know the swans will probably come to her because they used to be fed, mm. these birds. When we drove past them, I'm sure there's about seven or eight swans. Aye, they look like young ones, though, didn't they? Because they had. What, Al Grey? The light eye. Mm hmm. They got brown feathers, whatever. So it's had a successful year, really. Imagine swans, I was there, I don't imagine. Them ones at them other ponds or the um, other end didn't. You know, you never see the young on the water. Ah, uh, right. I, I think the foxes not must get them. It's just along the end, just not to see the end of the path here. Yeah. Right. There is green woodpeckers nest along the top here somewhere. I haven't heard them, haven't I? I came up the other year when the camera, when the camera, uh -huh. a couple of years ago, and they were up in the trees. I wasn't pleased that I was up there. God, I only walked up a little hill. It's just that hot and horrible. It's one of them horrible days. <sighs> kind of breathe. <clears throat> there was an old tree in here somewhere where it had like a bit of a hole in. Might have been that one. It's got a. I've seen the airs of the corner. Cormorant? Aye. Aye. Seen that one yet, didn't I? Aye. Uh -huh. yeah. Getting attacked by wasps. Oh, that's the tree there. This is roughly where I've seen the green woodpeckers and all. Aye. There's some big old rock trees here, there wasn't any beach. Green woodpeckers, they're not one for nesting low all the half the time, they're always up there somewhere. That's why you never see them. Uh, we're going down the path. This way up? Hi. I will just go and take it down the road. Uh, well, we're going to go and do that. But as you can see on camera, oh, there's some little. Now it is, Philip. That would have been brilliant, that. What? That would have been brilliant. Oh. Where they're sitting doing there, that the birds are actually coming right in front of them. Uh. They're sitting just behind the tree, but. We're kind of going doom because of social distancing and all that, you know what I mean? But them little chicks, like the baby ducks or, or water hens or coots or something, but they were. Does I this path takes you out different direction? Oh. Um. And now we're kind of we're kind of gone doing there with them all. Good, good. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's in there, you know. It looks like it's wasteland. Yeah. Should we just like there's a path here? We're going. We'll have a look. Just like a look in. It might be somewhere new for next year. There might be a little gorse in there or something. Alright, by the time we'll get back. <coughs> oh.
Mm. Well, must it? Yeah. When we went to them ponds and that. That was a good few weeks ago. I think we must have a few weeks to start seeing it, but it won't help Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh, there's a proper path here, like. Um, <clears throat> Leads into there, I don't know, I don't know what, we've never been through here before. Is that a wrens or something? Or a hedge sparrow? It's, it's an old one, like, but it is a hedge sparrow. So that's what's going to come again, maybe 10 years, probably not bad. Aye. I've never been around into here. You can see it gets well used. There must be foot paths through it. <laughs> you wish for that. Probably just one. I was more wondering what was doing in that end. What? There's gorse in here, I like it. What I was hoping. Top of the field, and um, a bit of a road going on doing through the wood there. So the trouble is, is that all those people, you know, a year ago would see anybody. <laughs> Can you bit of a steep bank side over there, and you can see all the rabbit burrows. They're going all the way along. Um, I'm just trying to see how far I can see down. Oh, there's some. It's like a hot thing doing that through the trees. It's got windows not that, and I can hear swallows down there. That's going to be somewhere new for what to explore next year. Right. We're we'll back on the top. It's still warm. Very warm. Not as much gorse as what I thought it would have been. It's just a little bit. We've been up into that field type place oh, and then... Oh, I was going to go and do the hard way. <laughs> oh, no, I've just thrown my lace and pulled it loose on them. Yeah, I'll tie it when I get to the bottom. Get the camera on the tripod. Um, but then people have gone from doing that. We'll give them over well, 20 minutes. Ah, uh, it was a young lad and lass. Probably should have done a first date and wear out their video. <laughs> Creep! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Stranger danger. Oh, that's crap. <laughs> I'm coming to win some crap though, mate. <laughs> right. Um. <clears throat> oh, I did see quite a few of them. the swans were there with the young. They were what looked like either young coot or duck or moorhen just on the edge here. Oh, there they are. I don't even know what they are like. Now oh, them so little chicks. They like the young swans, wouldn't they like the sort of... Aye. Like grey broom ones. Mm-hmm. There's a thousand more on this pond, like, isn't Two, it? three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see eight chicks there. Well, you know, oh, young, young signet type things. There's a heron over the other side. Can you see it? Just like from that rotten tree. 
Yeah. Um, I'll get a zoom. All right, right that's say that. You want? You might actually get a good spot and stick All right. on the stand. So get on the stand somewhere. There's a cooter over there. Oh, it's just a from come back up. Is that just some kind of, what's that from next? Is that just some kind of goal? It is, uh, it's a goal. Probably it's a heron goal or something. Oh, come on, what have I stood on? <laughs> Swan shit. <laughs> oh. right, it's, it's, a, it's like dog. Yeah, I was going to say it's as big as dog. Probably. It is. Come on, man. I've got this on the tribe. I understand. Right. Oh, there's always a load of stuff on this pond there. It's always a good one. It's just half the time when you come, there's always going to be people here. But today, they've left. So. There's a lot of coots on, there's a one, there's a couple of weed out of the back. I just want to try and get on with that, um, <coughs> that heron. Got the heron stuck Aye, there. just when it's sitting there at the minute. And the weeds are... Aye. It's just directly behind that swan, because it's solid to see on the camera. Like on the little viewfinder. I've got it in short. Aye. Because yeah, that, that heron's probably is about what, 50 yards away? Oh, a bit of a fight going on. That might be 100 yards. Oh, I know, it is. Nice. I'm not going to see what's making that noise, is it? Is that a turn on my post? Yeah, Making the noise, or is it them, um, or is it just them um, coots fighting? I'm not sure. Oh, I think it is just the coots fighting, like mm. they're right in front of that heron there. And I, um, I'll just zoom back out and then I'll get back onto it. Is it a I'm not even sure. Mm. Yeah, um, and get the thing in. It's just constantly on the move. Are still on it? I've got it like. Mm. What on the little chick or the heron yard? Yeah, that's the little chick. I don't know if that is a moorhang yet to sort of see the colours. Maybe it's picked up like that. Maybe a, a young moorhang like that. Mm. Looks like it's getting all in feet there, the other. Uh, See if I can get like a, a really good close on it. Just want to have a look on the computer, I'd need to see what it is. Because it might even be a mallard. Didn't think it's, it's not a mallard, like, is it? No. <laughs> That's what I was saying before when we were up there, though, um, yeah. that, that young couple that was sitting here. This actually came out of the water, just like a few yards away from them. It's like the side of the pond, but it must be quite late, isn't it? Because that's That's not very old, I. Just two or three weeks, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably like in a second or third brood, like. Oh, now the, the pair of birds, aye, but the... <coughs> is that was something you on the ponds, though, isn't it? So what do you reckon it is, then? I know, I'm not even sure, to be honest. It's, like it's going to be one, one of them, like, isn't it? it? Aye. And at the back, it looks like it's the way the water hinge has got a bit of white on the wings, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's getting closer. <laughs> Not shy, not scared. I'm gonna stand up. I know, I had to stand up though. I was the wrong I was facing the wrong way around. Because it was just there, like five foot away. It's coming close again, like.
think when well, no, I just a little cool or something but for the water here and it's always nice to see them. It was standard on I was standard on there. <laughs> right, um I'll focus on something else. <laughs> Got into I haven't even looked at the swans and stuff like that yet. And that. Not, not yet. <laughs> I did on the coots a bit further up, but um, It's like a little bunch of them coats together there, isn't it? Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, come on. Square up. The only bird that seems to be sticking close by to this little bird is that duck up there. Are yeah. the mallard? Are the mallard? Ah, there's only, you know, because... I think that's a, could be, I mean, I, I can't even tell when they're that years, what they are, you know. Ah, the... Could be a mallard like that. I mean, there'll be some experts who will be to tell you what they've picked or now, but... Oh, straight away. Oh. It's got that skinny little beak like I mean, I, I, I really think it is a... a coot, to be honest. Do you not think it could be a moorhen though? Oh, the moorhen, I it's either one. I was just thinking the beaks it's just there's not a bit of orange red on it, you know. But, uh, I'm not even seeing any more hens over here. No. You know, for a little chick to be there on its own. Maybe that's why it's uh, like a nice It's aye. Uh, tell our parents have been predated and whatever, you know. It's just. Just the coots are up there, sort of sitting in the wings, like. Come back up there, yeah. Aye. Uh, it's got that, you know, the tail flicking thing. Uh, That's what the coot does when it's alarmed, like. Uh, the water hen does exactly the same, but um, we've got them on video doing that. When it when it came in close there, its tail was flicking. That's it, I think it's a young coot, you know, because that's just Carla, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Is that a pigeon flew off the water? That's what I thought it looked like. <laughs> as soon as I heard the clapping of the wings and then... The water pigeons like that. It, it looked like it came off the water, unless it like swooped down to get something, but... There's a pigeon here, like that. It's going back out a little bit there, that little chick. Everything's went back up the top, haven't they? Because of... Aye, well, we've filmed them. Aye. It's because people are feeding them up on the top fence there. All the cygnets. All the ducks and everything are going over there. Aye. That's a good thing about this pond, you know, that they are quite friendly, the birds, you can just... Feed them all. It's a brilliant little nature reserve. Used to have a load of uh, what corp. So you full of corp years ago. See that man order over there? Um the back here. Alright, aye. It's carrying someone on its back, isn't it? Ah, get the camera on the stand. <laughs> it looks like there's something on its back. Aye, that's what I just noticed now when you mentioned it. Oh, it's weird at the back. I've got it on camera there. Uh, so if there's something on its back, we'll see it.
If there was, I think it'd come off now. I can't have seen it runs back now. Mm. It did look like it when it... It might have just been its feathers or something sticking up there. No. It, like it still looks like there's something there now, doesn't it? Every time I come up, I keep meaning to bring the knot, doesn't I? I always forget to put them up. Mine's in the back of the corner, I'll put it down here. Mm -hmm. I can, still can sitting just there, like. see something on its back, I'm not sure. But I'm zoomed in quite good, so if it turns out there is, we'll, we'll see it on the video. Oh, that heron's took the game off. Still there. Aye. Oh, I'll zoom up before I start moving the camera because it's bouncing out. Oh, Right, so we're gonna I'll film just a bit of what we'll see here. We're gonna have a walk. Right. Oh, I'm standing on this time. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, why? Oh, Christ, I that's it. And like I've said, I've heard the green woodpeckers up here a few times. I mean, and that's around 10 years. Oh, aye. But it'd be worth coming back, dude, because yeah, the, be the very bottom one under that branch looks like a... That looks a recent one, Ah, oh, like it? a great spot, I don't know. It looks like it's getting used. Oh, you know, like by the blue tits, grey tits, probably. But them big ones are a bit higher up, like. Yeah. Here could be the green wood pecker. Big enough. Oh, aye. Especially them two middle ones. Oh. Did you notice that I would trace them up the top here, the rotten one? Oh, it's got holes in it. The wax so tough. I don't know how we So we'll have a look on the. We'll go up and have a look at it. See if there's any like fresh holes on it. Side. I'll turn the camera off. We'll get up the top because I'll be struggling. We're just on the way back to land the path back down towards the car. But that's, mm. there's a wren's nest in there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm sorting this. This uh, camera I stand. Try it. Any, but it would have been a one. Aye. I'm going to have a look, there might be a mouse in or something. Oh, We've done that before. <laughs> Give the wren's nest a flick and a little moose jumps. I <laughs> that was a young one. Um, just to see if I can see where the hole was. Um, it's around this side at the front. Aye. I only had a really good look at that there because it, it is the right time of the year. There was obviously not going to be any bird in. I was just curious to see if there was a mouse in. Oh, what a crap we of a jump, wouldn't they? I might have tied this one. Yes, it's. Getting out of the place. Well, still not any dog do it. It could, could take you around the top eye. I will have a look. Oh, yeah. Big old oak tree. There's a good hole in it. Uh, looks like I'm extending the tripod again. <laughs> See if I can get up there. It's only a booty eight foot, like. I'm, I'm like six foot, you know. <laughs> Five foot six, in reality. No. I'm not that sure. I'm five foot seven. Hey, you used to be. <laughs> I used to be five foot eight, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
fork if you can, yeah, you can use like losing parts of the fork and then some head. Alright. It went in, I could see light in the bucket. Huh? Huh? You can't just tell if that's a look at the camera. Huh? It might be. Could be interesting. You got little owls over this way. Could be a possible nest site for next year. It's three weeks through there, it looks like it's got a hole in just in the nest. Put the valley there, can you see? Oh, right, aye. The nabbing is. Aye. It's going to be like that beach kind of tree, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Kind of see through all the branches, like I wouldn't be able to zoom in all the way down. Oh. Ah, oh, I wouldn't get onto the... We'll get onto that bottom path to get back down to the core. Yeah? Eh. Yeah. Didn't matter. Huh? Was it close to two or one? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure now. Well, probably has been with a couple of hours, like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> There's a bit of a hole around the side of that tree as well, yeah. Philip just pointed out there. Sort of guns in around the back of the bog. And there is a hole just in there as well. Just a small hole in the front, right? Now, but when I have loose ball, and that's a good place for a tree creep out. Right. We haven't walked along this path before. That's the only reason why I'm checking out everything. See if it's going to be worth coming back to. Oh. There's a lot of old trees, like, walk, and this is an old industrial path. You know, cobble path type thing. Made purposely for some reason. Might lead somewhere. That's a that's a garden centre through there. You can hear people laughing and talking. Bradley Nurseries. Oh. It's a crawl crook near yeah, Greenside. <coughs> kind of ravine down there. Big drop, not climbing doing that. There's a squirrel right there. It's sort of froze. Is that a squirrel or a rat? It was. It was a squirrel. A squirrel black one. It's got a smile, it's in here. It's a oh, it's got the bushy tail. I was sort of worried there for a minute. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a very old one. I was too. Uh, I just gone to that building here. Oh, so we just gone to the building, to the garden centre. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna walk down here towards where the garden centre is because they've got this wall but it's got a load of overhanging ivy. You know, I just not, might not find anything but <clears throat> I just need to check and see what kind of place it's going to be. Spot any old blackbirds, song thrush, wrens, robins, all that sort of thing. It's one of these pop out old industrial walls, walls in them, crevices, ledges. Good enough for everything, even fly catchers, wagtails, rambling, rambling on a bit.
see the back in there, wasn't sure what, if it was more than new, that was worth a look. Right, back into the bottom. Right, we're, we're back down to the car. Back into the car park. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of birds in this video for a change. Me nests and eggs, like, but you know, lots of birds. Right, so, I'll just see you in the next one.